Hello guys, um, wanted to come back again and do an update video for my generator disconnect. Here I have a 50 amp breaker. It's for my 12,500 watt generator. And I have a 60 amp, which is my shop to run my second generator which is uh, 9700 watts. I also have a 100 watt uh, disconnect for inside of my home on my circuit panel and I have a 200 amp that comes off of the pole uh, my service disconnect. Alright now let's move on to in the home. Alright guys, here we go. Um, here in my home, you can see the meters that I have here. I also have a chart breakdown that's right on the side of my circuit panel. Um, if I were you guys, I would advise you guys to get a chart like this so that you can see the breakdown of your wattage on each leg. Alright? Uh, this is my circuit panel inside my home. And like I said, on the outside of my home, I have a 100 amp disconnect for this particular circuit panel here inside the home and I have a 200 amp service disconnect from the line or the pole that comes from the street. Okay, then we're going to move to the other panel in the back. Okay guys, this is the panel in the back, the smaller panel in which I can also monitor how many watts I'm using on each leg on my second generator hookup. And I also have another reference guide to show what I'm using on each leg. Once again, I would advise you guys to put a few of these in your home. They definitely come in handy. All right. Now we're gonna move on to the connections. All right, guys, this is my 12,500 watt generator connect. And as you can see, I ran it. All the way around the home. I have an access right here if I need. And as you can see right through there, it goes all the way to the circuit panel if you can see through there. Past my solar panel um, watt box there. We're going to move on to the next one. And here's the other. That's going to be for the 8750 Predator. And that goes into my studio area. Alright. Alright guys, now. It's power plant number one. It's power plant number two. Alright, so as you can see, guys, I have two separate buildings, two separate generators. Um, once again, I could have got a standby, but for me, in my case, I can regulate my wattage exactly how I want to. I decide what, how many watts goes to what. The one is dual fuel, and this one is tri fuel. I can actually run this one um, off of natural gas as well. 
And if I just get another regulator, I can run this one. Now once again guys, I wanted to uh, make this known. When you run a standby generator, the cost, you're running anywhere from eight to twelve to fifteen thousand for basically the same amount of wattage that I have sitting right here. So if you get a 20kW or a 22kW, um, you guys add this up. Turn the light on. Alright. This one runs 9500 continuous. This one runs 7000 continuous. So you basically have a 20kW for... 1500 to 1700 bucks. So, once again, if you guys want to um, spend or if you have that extra money that you just want to spend, I mean, by all means, be my guest. But I have to say, it damn sure feels good saving $10,000 and basically have the same operation and function that anyone else has in a 20kW. So that's my opinion on it, guys. Um, just want to show you my connections, my hookup. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share. Give me a like. If you want to know more about the setup, comment. And um, I'll answer as soon as I can. So we say goodbye for now. We check you guys on the next one. Thanks for viewing.